Hello everyone, this is Teacher Karen. Welcome to Fundamentals of Accounting, Business, and Management 2. Our lesson for today is all about the statement of comprehensive income of a merchandising business. First, we will, multi uh, we will discuss multi-step approach. You already learned the single approach of SCI or Statement of Comprehensive Income for a Single Proprietorship. They term it as multi-step because there are several steps needed in order to arrive at the, company, at the company's net income. Unlike in single approach, it is simple, uh, deduct and add. But here we have, uh, we have to follow multi-step or several steps. So part of a multi-step approach. According to Haddock, Ice, and Marina, 20 well, the elements of a multi-step approach of a, market, of a merchandising company are as follows. The first one, the first part is sale, the total amount of revenue that the company was able to generate from selling products. Okay. This, then we have also contra revenue. Contra revenue, this is the second part. Sales returns, records, returns of customer or allowances for such returns. So we will deduct this contra revenue to sales. It occurred when customers return their products for reasons such as but not limited to defects or change of preferences. Sales discount is discount given to customers who pay early and it's also known as cash discount. It's awarded to customers who pay earlier or before the deadline. That is also under contra revenue. Then we have cost of goods sold. This is the third part. We also call this cost of sales, cost of uh, goods available for sale. That is also a same name. This is the third part. This account represents the actual cost of merchandise that the company was able to sell during the year. Net purchases is purchase minus contra purchase account for purchase discount and purchase returns. And then, purchase discount is account used to record early payments by the company to the suppliers of merchandise. Purchase returns is account used to record merchandise returned by the company to their suppliers. Net cost of purchase is equal to purchases plus freight in. Purchases is the amount, it's an amount of goods bought during the current accounting period. Then freight in is an account used to record transportation costs of merchandise purchased by the company. So how do we compute the cost of goods sold or cost of sales or cost of inventory available for sale? We have a beginning inventory plus inventory purchase. Inventory purchase, uh, we will compute that using the net purchase or purchases plus the write-in 
minus the contra purchases, which are purchase discount, purchase returns. Then after that, we will add in the beginning inventory and then minus the end of in, 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 in inventory. So we will get the cost of goods sold. So you have to add beginning inventory and the net cost of purchases for you to get the cost of goods available for sale. Okay. Cost of sales, cost of goods sold, cost of goods available for sale, that is only one. Different in 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 names, but the same. So beginning inventory is the amount of ending inventory from the previous period. Okay. And then ending inventory is the total cost of inventory unsold at the end of the accounting cycle. Then how to calculate the gross profit? Sales less cost of goods sold. Net sales actually deduct. Uh, you will also deduct the contra revenue if there is a contra revenue. Sales returns or sell, sales stock. And then you will get the gross profit. Sales less cost of goods sold. So revenue minus cost of goods sold. That is gross profit. After that, the fourth part is the general administrative expense. These expenses are not directly related to the merchandising function of the company, but are necessary for the business to operate effectively. For example, the, the rent and the build, the rent and the maintenance cost of a building, and then direct labor, salaries, and wages, and office maintenance. This is for the office only, not for the merchandising function. And the fifth part is the selling expenses. These expenses are those that are directly related to the main purpose of merchandising business, the sale and delivery of merchandise. And then the last part is net income and net loss. Gross profit less general administrative expenses and selling expenses will yield a net income for a positive result, while net loss for a negative result. If the gross profit is higher than the expenses, that is net income. But if the gross profit is less than the expenses, that is, that is net loss. The formats of multi-step approach. This, this is the format. So I will discuss, discuss this one by one. Okay. We have heading, company name, SCI name, and the date, period. Then we have also sales, uh, total sales of the current accounting period. That is the net sale. Sales minus the counter revenue, sales return, sales discount. Okay. Next is cost of sales or cost of goods sold or cost of goods available for sale. Uh, this is also a net cost. We will deduct the contra purchases, which are purchases discount, purchases returns, and also we will add the price in the transportation cost before we declare the amount. And then after that, we will go to gross profit. Total profit of the current period, accounting period. We will subtract the cost of goods sold to sales, and then we will get the gross profit. The next part is the general and administrative expenses. Total expenses not related to merchandising function. And then the other one is selling expenses. Total expenses are related to merchandising function of the company. So he will like Uyun, separated. Then we have also net income or net loss. Total profit of the company of the current accounting period. We will deduct uh, selling expenses and administrative expenses to gross profit so we will get the net income or net loss 
Okay, before we end, words of wisdom. Learn to be positive always and pleasure of pain or pain in sun or rain, in loss or gain. Always be positive. Okay, so that's all. Thank you, God bless, and stay safe. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And then click the button, bell button to notify you. Bye.